After my Intel 7700K deleting video where we saw a temperature drop of 15 degrees in rendering benchmarks, I couldn't help but wonder what would happen if we did the same thing to a GPU. That is, replacing the stock thermal interface material with a liquid metal compound. Well, I did some research but really struggled to find any valid data, only a few forum posts here and there, some people saying they've done it and some people strongly advising not to do it due to the risk of electrically shorting the tiny delicate resistors next to the GPU die. Curiosity got the best of me, so I pulled out the GTX 1070 and got to work. Removing the rear part of the shroud reveals the heatsink that is cooled by the blower style fan, and once that's lifted off, we reveal the GPU die, which is absolutely drowning in thermal paste. There must be a specific reason that there's so much on here, but I don't know it, seeing as the GPU die and heatsink are in direct contact. Go ahead and clean all of that off with tissue paper and isopropyl alcohol, both off the heatsink and the GPU die. For the die, don't worry about the remaining thermal paste between the surface mounted components however, as the pitch between them is quite small so it's best to just leave them alone. Now time to apply the liquid metal to the GPU die. For reference, I'm using Cool Laboratories Liquid Ultra which I still had left over from my 7700K D lid. Seeing as the die and the heatsink are in direct contact, I made sure to apply an extremely thin layer as I didn't want it being smooshed out to the edges and touching those resistors. Liquid metal is conductive so be extra careful when applying it. Once it's applied and spread out, reinstall the heatsink, all of the screws, and your GPU is back together again. So was there any difference? In Unigen Heaven, I measured temperature and fan speed both before and after replacing the thermal compound. Note that the fan profile was set at stock for all tests. With the stock thermal compound, the GTX 1070 Founders Edition hovered around 84 degrees Celsius, with the fan speed stable at 60%. And with the liquid metal, we're seeing a stable 81 degrees at 54% fan speed. So, a grand total of 3 degrees difference, and if you're running the stock fan profile, you'll see a 5% difference in fan speed, or around 400 RPM, which was not noticeable at all. I also tried equating the fan speed of the initial test of 60%, but it seriously made no difference at all to the temperature. As for overclocked results, we see a similar story as you'd expect, 2 degrees cooler with a 5% reduction in fan speed. So there you have it, I'd definitely say that this is not worth doing, and I highly recommend you leave whatever thermal compound the manufacturer has put in there. In pretty much all cases, removing the cooler from your GPU and exposing the GPU die will void your warranty, and even if it didn't, it's still not worth doing. So let me know what you guys think, if anyone did the same mod and got better results, then be sure to drop that down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for similar content in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.